Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and enemies, hello, welcome to another episode of the world's most popular podcast with my name attached to it. Uh, oh, hang on, no, that's that's my other podcast for Syria, the celebrant talk show. Uh, I'll do that again. Welcome to the second most popular podcast currently produced uh, with my name attached to it. Uh, my name is Josh Withers. This is, well, it's a podcast about people getting married, uh, but not just any people. Crazy people, weird people, people that aren't normal, people that look at all the blogs and all the Pinterest boards and all that kind of thing and think, ah, just a bit weird, just a bit weird. That's that's who this podcast is for. This podcast is for the Rebels. I call it the Rebels Guide to Getting Married. And today we're talking uh, about something that may well be affecting people that are getting married at this very second. You see, it is a Friday afternoon, it is currently 4.21pm as I record this, and a storm is brewing. You may even hear it in the audio. Hopefully not. Maybe the microphone is expensive enough that you can't hear it. Uh, but a storm is brewing. Massive hailstorms are coming across uh, the whole region. And that kind of thing, it really breeds a whole lot of fear in people that are getting married. So today I just want to talk about uh, wet weather backups, which is like super sexy. Like in, if you want to talk wedding content, this is the sexiest of the content. Like we're talking, we're talking moving everyone to another venue. We're talking like going to different parts of the world. We, we are talking about things that no one really wants to talk about. This is the sexiest part of wedding planning, wet weather backups. And uh, me, I'm not going to infuse fear and scary stuff into you, but instead I just want to have a quick chat about what it actually means to have a wet, wet, wet weather backup. What it means is that where you're getting married, if it rains, are you going to hate yourself? Because, look, I would love to do your ceremony outside. That's the best place to do a ceremony. But if it's pouring down, is it going to suck? Now, every venue and every place is going to just have a completely different answer for that. Uh, but if it would suck if it was raining, and you know what? Ignore the weather forecast, ignore all that kind of stuff, but there's, just assume there's a chance it could rain, then maybe... Are there some options? That's what a wet weather backup is. It isn't about, you know, setting up two different bloody ceremony areas or stressing out about things. It's just about saying, if it rains, what happens? And maybe the plan is that, uh, you know, you've hired a local community hall for $200 and, like, that's a wet weather backup. Maybe it's moving it to the reception venue. Maybe it's taking it back to your place. Maybe it's everyone just standing there with umbrellas. Uh, I've had a wet weather backup where there was no backup and we just stood there in the rain and that was absolutely fine because that was the backup. The backup was that there was no backup. And that's okay. The importance isn't having a backup. The importance is just thinking about it just for a split second and saying, if it rains, what will I do? And, uh, you know, you can spend hours, thousands of dollars, stress beyond belief worrying about this. And I've got a really arrogant view about it, actually. You see, when I'm the celebrant for weddings, it just doesn't rain. <laughs> Which is not so. I can't put that in a con in a contract. I can't tell anyone about that. I can't put it in a brochure. Uh, if I could, no one would hire me because I think I was a bullshit artist. But uh, today I can tell you that it's just usually okay. So don't lose sleep over having wet weather backups. But maybe just think about it and think that if it was to rain, what would happen and what would I do? Now there's little things that can bridge the gap as well. Having some umbrellas that aren't branded with your favourite soft drink or beer on top of it might be really nice. Uh, I know here in Australia you can go to a Daiso, which is a, like a Japanese um, uh, like department store, and from there you can pick up these clear umbrellas for like $2 each. Uh, it might be that it would just shuffle back inside. It, it might be that we just stand there and cop it. Don't lose sleep over a wet weather backup, but my recommendation is that if you're getting married somewhere where rain could affect you, at least think about it for a second, so that when it does happen, you don't flip out. You haven't got people you're marrying flipping out. You haven't got family flipping out. You can just say, hey, guys, I've got a plan, and it's going to be okay. Because that's all people need to know, that when things like this kind of uh, strike, as you may well call it, that you've got a plan, and that as those weather clouds rumble over the valley, as those hailstorms pierce your <laughs> windscreen, that you've got a plan. Can I just talk briefly about something that, once again, this is not a scientific fact, I have no evidence to support this, but, but something that's kind of weird that I think you should know about. Every time that we have been rained out at a ceremony that I'm at, if we had have started on time, we would have been okay. I don't know, there's something weird. I feel like wet weather just makes everyone go late, and because we were late, we actually got caught in the rain. These are all weird things that you can't really put down to any scientific fact, but it doesn't hurt to get to your wedding on time. That's the uh, Josh Withers tip in today's Rebels Guides Getting Married. And that's a plane. And that was the Chugan Pause. If you've uh, got things that you'd like me to cover in the podcast or the vlog, please shoot them through to me. The Rebels.guide is the website with an email address and whatnot. Uh, you know, share. 
share, share, please. I would love it if this podcast and vlog got to more people. That would be so cool. Uh, in future episodes, we're going to start talking to some vendors and some couples that are being married or are getting married as well, uh, just to get some real world stuff in here. So please, if you've ever got ideas for that, shoot a brother an email or a message. My name is Josh Withers. Um, uh, look, in case you haven't picked up so far, I'm a marriage celebrant. I'd love to marry you as well. Married by Josh is on my social and website and media. Get on to that. But between now and then, continue being the rebel you are. You are awesome. <laughs>